Hi, did you know that the mechanism of how we speak is because the vibrations of the vocal cord? And we can hear the sound because of the vibrations of the eardrum. The sound can travel in the air also because of the vibrations of the air particle. The musical instruments such as guitar, violin, piano, drums also apply vibration mechanism to produce sound. In this case, the vibrations is desired. However, for machine and motion engineering structure, vibration is an unwanted mechanism and therefore it has to be reduced or controlled. For instance, we surely do not want our machine machines to vibrate badly or we will disturb by a machine that radiates noise. In engineering applications, the vibrations in the mechanical system can cause various negative effects and thus need to be eliminated when possible. This can be structural fatigue, noise radiations, improper operations, performance inefficiency, and secondary damage. The aircraft structure, especially the wings, are sensitive to the vibrations from the jet engine and the wind, which can cause fatigue or flutter effect and can finally lead to failure. Quiet environment in buildings are essential. Mechanical surface equipment in buildings such as pump, motor, and compressor are known to be major sources of noise and vibrations. The machines which doesn't have proper mounts to the floor or the roof will easily transmit the vibrations wave to the neighboring structure and cause structural noise. Area located along the seismic belt, such as Philippines, Japan, or Indonesia, is in the risk to experience earthquake which can be disastrous to buildings. Even low level of earthquake can cause crack or breakage to the structure. Vibration isolator can be used to prevent transmissions of vibration waves to the buildings. Engineering product with low level of vibrations is now determine its quality. Customers demand low vibrations in their car and passengers require comfortable travels with less vibrating vehicles. So, what are the roles of a vibration engineer? A vibration engineer should be able to apply the knowledge of mathematics and physics to model a vibrating system. A vibration engineer must also be able to identify, formulate, and solve the vibration problems. In this Mechanical Vibrations iBook, we will learn how to model, formulate, design, and analyze the engineering vibration problem. We will use the engineering mathematics and the dynamics that you have learned before and to help you better understand the fundamental concepts. I'm Dr. Asma Putra and I hope you enjoy this iBook.